Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 through 27, and chapter 18, verse 8. Before we read today's Gospel, let's say our prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings, and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Luke. As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married, they were given in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, and they built. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day let him who is on the housetop with his goods in the house not come down to take them away, and likewise let him who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to gain his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you, in that night there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. And they said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there the eagles will be gathered together. I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Word of God. Today our Lord gives us a look at what his second coming will be like. Just as in the time of Noah and Lot, people will be going about their daily lives, and without warning the end will come and the final reckoning will take place. But if you have faith and love in our Lord, and apply his teachings to your lives, and attend and receive the sacraments, you'll be all right. Let's take a moment to look at one of those teachings. In Matthew 25, our Lord tells us to visit the sick and the shut-ins. Do you have a relative, friend, or acquaintance that is sick or not able to get out and about? If you do, take a minute. Give them a call on the phone and see if they need anything. That's one of our Lord's teachings. Let's apply it to our lives. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.